Welcome back guys. In the previous lecture we have completed the setup of our react application. So now in this lecture we are going to create our first component called as the navbar component. So first of all I will show you the demo of the navbar component in our deployed version. So you can see this is the home root. So in the home root you can able to see the navbar filter component as well as the rooms. So leave it about this filter component and this rooms we are going to learn about these things in the further lectures. So in this lecture we are going to focus on this navbar. So it is a simple bootstrap navbar. So we are going to use the three CSS frameworks in this project. So the first one is bootstrap and the second one is react bootstrap and the third one is andy. So andy and react bootstrap is for the small purposes and we are going to use mostly bootstrap classes only. So in the further lectures we are going to learn about all those things. So in this lecture to develop this navbar first we have to use the bootstrap cdn links or we have to install the bootstrap using the npm. So this is the your choice. So you can install using the bootstrap npm or you can directly use the cdn links. You can copy and paste it in the index.html which is present in the public folder. So I will choose the basic one which is which is the copying uh, bootstrap cdn links and pasting it in the public index.html. So first of all visit the bootstrap official website. Bootstrap So if you scroll down, you can able to see here this is the uh, second method npm install bootstrap and this is the first method using the cdn links. So now I will copy the both cdn links. Copy. So first we are going to copy the CSS. Then we have to copy the script also. So in the index.html, I am going to paste it. So you have to paste that links in the header tag. So above the title I am going to paste it. So I have pasted the CSS link. Now I will copy the script also. Copy. Paste it here. Control S. So I am going to change the title of our developing project. So instead of react app I am going to write share rooms dev because it is the developing version and these share rooms is the deployed version so you can able to see the differences clearly so now we have uh, imported the bootstrap in our application so to check whether it is imported successfully or not you have to create one button in the app.js with the bootstrap class so bottom of the h1 text i am going to create one button button class name is equal to btn btn primary control s now let's check whether we got the bootstrap styling for this button or not. So I will write the button text as bootstrap button. Sorry, button spelling is wrong. Yeah. Now let's check. So you can see here we got the bootstrap button because we haven't written any styling for this button. So automatically btn primary styling is applied to this button. So now you can remove this both uh, h1 text and the button and you have to add the navbar. So first of all create the folder structures. So now I'm going to write the structure of our project. So basically our project contains three things components screens and static files. So here we are not using any static files. So first of all I will create the remaining two things. The first one is components and the second one is screens. So let me create the components folder first. So whatever the components we are creating in this component folder they are reusable. That's the reason I am going to name these as components. So now I am going to create the second folder as screens. So screens are the stable ones. So now in the components I am going to create our first component navbar dot js that's it. So now I am going to create the functional component in this navbar dot js. So I am going to use the react snippets so rf ce that's it. So you can see I got the react snippet with the component name navbar. So now I am going to write one h1 text navbar 
component control s so now remove the default stuff in the app.js so remove this h1 text as well as the button and here we need to import the navbar this is the navbar so the i'm using the auto import snippets so whenever i type the component name and i will press the enter then the component will be imported automatically so the navbar component is added in the app.js now let's check here you can see we have the navbar component so now i visit the bootstrap documentation for the navbar so just type bootstrap navbar so there are many types of bootstrap navbars are present so you can choose the basic one so if you want to choose the complex that's up to your choice because here we don't need the complex things we have to keep the things as simple as possible so i am going to use this nav so this is the simple one in all the navbars which are belongs to bootstrap so copy this so it will have only navbar title that means project title and the simple navbar elements so we do not have any extra things in this navbar so that's the reason every time i choose this navbar only so copy this entire code and paste it in the navbar component so remove this h1 paste it directly and right click on it click on format document control s that's it now let's check the output so here you can see we got the navbar so now uh, we have to style this navbar so first of all we have to change the background color as well as these elements colors that means uh, these links color so we have to change the navbar color as background uh, black and we have to change the navbar elements color as white so to write the styling i am going to choose the index.css so if you want to write in the app.css that's up to you so you can choose any one so, or if you want to create a separate style sheet for every component also you can write so because in this application we are not uh, focusing on the css we are focusing on the logics so that's the reason i don't prefer much time for the css so i will use the normal styling only so i'll open index.css and here i will write the styling for navbar so first of all open navbar component Uh, so you can see to change the background color of the navbar you have to use this dot navbar class and you can remove this bg light and navbar light classes control s and in the index.css i am going to write dot navbar background color sorry background color black important so we are overriding the bootstrap classes that's the reason every time you have to put the important so the background color of the navbar will be changed i think so let me check here you can see the background color changed successfully so now i am going to change the colors of this links so let me check the classes for that links so the classes for that links are nav link you can see here nav link so you just need to write the dot nav link and you can change the color dot nav link color is equal to white sorry white important control s let's refresh so i think it is not applied uh, so of in the nav link you have to use the hyphen control s now it should be applied yeah it is applied successfully and if you want to change this uh, navbar brand color you just need to use nav navbar brand i think so let me check the class for that navbar brand dot navbar brand same you have to apply the color property color white important yeah that's it so now i am going to make the changes in the navbar component so remove this title navbar and put our title sharerooms and 
here we are having the four tags by default but in our deployed version we are only having two register and login so if you are already logged in we will be seeing the another nav bar so you can uh, develop that later so first of all uh, develop this default one so you have to get two icons not two icons two menus register as a and login so you can remove this last two because we are having only two and remove this uh, span and i will write the first one as register and the second one as login and i will change the roots also login here register so as of now we haven't created any login and register screens so that's the reason it will take to the empty root register that's it so now let's check whether we got the updated uh, links or not here you can see we got the updated things register and uh, login so if you want to keep this menu menu set the left side you can use directly and if you want to keep it center or right side you have to change so in the deployed version we are having the links at the right side so if you want to keep the links at the right side you just need to add one class to this ul tag so this is the ul so here you have to add one class ml auto so all the links will be moved to the right side if you use ml auto let's check refresh so i think it is mr auto not ml auto let me check mr margin right auto now it should be changed what happened so i don't know why it is not working let's try mx auto so mx auto will bring the menu at the center uh let's see so mx auto is working fine so i think only left and right things are not working so let's write the manually so use mr auto or you can directly remove this mr auto and we can write the default css styling for this navbar nav class let's check the output first so refresh you can see now the menu is present at the left side now i am going to write the css styling for this navbar nav so it's just one line you just use, you just need to write margin left auto or margin right auto so dot navbar nav so i am going to use mr a margin right auto important control s now let's check here you can see it is at the right side only so if you use left it will move to the left side control s yeah now it is working fine so if you apply margin left auto the menu will be moved to the right side so if you apply margin right auto the menu will be moved to the left side so previously we need not to write these things but uh, i think I, i don't know why this ml auto and mr auto is not working in the bootstrap so that's fine so we can write this uh, inline uh, css styling directly when this bootstrap hassles so in the next lecture we are going to set up our backend environment that means node js environment thank you